Want to finally learn Korean the fast, fun, and easy way? In this video, I'll show you the top 10 ways to get started. So let's begin. Number one, take your very first lesson. Access any audio or video lesson on koreanclass101.com and just press the play button to get started. Don't have an account? Don't worry. Just go to the sign up page to create an account. It takes less than 30 seconds and it's free. We have thousands of audio and video lessons covering a variety of topics like grammar, pronunciation, listening, and reading. Just click on the play button on any lesson and start learning. Number two, read along with the lesson. You can read along with the lesson notes or lesson transcript. These come with every lesson. The lesson notes provide you with the dialogue for the scene taught in the lesson, along with translations, a more in-depth explanation of the grammar and culture, and even vocab and sample sentences. The lesson transcript is the full word-for-word -word transcript of everything you hear in the lesson. And the dialogue study tool provides you with the audio for the lesson dialogue, along with the translations. Number three, shadowing. Shadowing is a tested learning technique where you repeat what you hear. This is a great way to start speaking in minutes and practice speaking in general. If you're listening along with the lesson audio or dialogue, be sure to shadow along the way. Number four, use the dialogue study tool to master the conversation. Here, you get the line-by-line -line breakdown of the conversation demonstrated in the lesson. Listen and repeat until you've mastered each line. Do this until you've mastered the entire conversation. Number five, use the voice recorder to perfect your pronunciation and speaking. In the dialogue study tool, you'll find a microphone icon next to each line. Click on it to record your voice. Then compare it with the native speakers. Listen and adjust your pronunciation until you match that of the native speaker. Number six, review vocab with the lesson vocabulary list. Vocabulary words are the building blocks of language. You can save vocab words taught in each lesson by clicking on Add to Word Bank. Want to drill the words with smart flashcards instead? Just click on Add to Flashcard Deck to do so. Number seven, listen to the review track. If you've studied an audio lesson before, just listen to the review track so that you don't have to listen through the entire lesson again. This is a great way to reinforce the material that you've learned and it's great to have on the go. Just access any audio lesson and click on the download icon. Then click review to download the review track. Number eight, review with quizzes after the lesson. Once you're confident enough with the material taught in the lesson, be sure to take the quiz to test your newfound knowledge. Take the review questions and answer true or false for each one. Or take the writing questions and input your answer. Remember to check the answers by clicking on the check answers button. Number nine, participate and leave a comment. The best way to master what you've learned is to use it. Join the community of learners by leaving a comment below at the end of every lesson. Our dedicated teachers will check your responses to correct you on any mistakes or provide you with helpful study tips and advice. And finally, number 10, move on to the next lesson. Done with a lesson? Mark the lesson as complete. You can see your overall learning progress on your dashboard. If you particularly enjoyed the lesson, mark the lesson as favorite so that you can come back to it later at any time. Click on the forward arrow to move on to the next lesson and continue learning. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn Korean and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. Remember, you can sign up to koreanclass101.com by clicking on the link in the description. Sign up takes less than 30 seconds and it's free. I'll see you next time. Bye.